Hello everybody, my name is Ree. Um, I'm going to be new, I guess, to the whole making videos and everything. What I'm going to be doing is um, chronicalizing my hair journey, obviously. Um, now, with that being said, I am going to possibly do other things simply because I'm, I'm always showing my opinion for something, my likes, dislikes, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> My hair journey uh, started um, years ago. I tried to do to go natural. I'm sorry, many many times, and I've always went back um, to a relaxer or a texturizer. Um, I do periodically wear braids. Um, I don't do micro braids, but I do kinky twists. Um, I'm very interested in doing genie locks. Um, with that being said, at the same time. Um, I don't want to do, I'm not, I don't keep them very long because I do like the feel of my own hair. Um, I am an ex-product junkie. I'm working on it actually. Um, but I, I love uh, trying different things as far as for my hair, skin, things like that. So, I tend to overbuy. Um, right now I'm only using, um, a series of, well not series, a small I guess arsenal for my hair. Um, as far as shampoos go, I was using three. Now I'm using two because the one I'm almost empty. Um, the three that I was using was uh, Suave, the Suave Naturals, and then this one that I got from uh, the idea of using this from Natural Eighty Five. Her channel is Natural Eighty Five, and she has another channel, Dear Natural Eighty Five. And I'll link both of those below. She's um, a great, um, um, someone with lots of information, products, reviews, hairstyles, things like that, as far as things for your body as well. Um, this is Trey Essentials Organic Hair Wash, and this is in the Lavender Garden. And what it is, is basically, it's a, um, a mud wash, with, but and it makes your hair super soft for me anyway. Um, the second one, I mean the third one that I was using is um, a another favorite I guess of people. Now this one is almost gone. Like it's literally a corner left. See a quarter. And what it is, is the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Threat Shampoo. Now these usually go for about $9 in the store. The Trey Essentials, this is the... 16 ounce, I believe it was $20 and some change, um, a little bit more with um, shipping charges. As far as the Giovanni goes, um, I did not get this at the regular store. I got this at Marshall's, so I actually got this in a set, so I came out um, with a, a bigger deal. Um, I got this with the conditioner and a leave-in moisturizer spray, I guess conditioner type thing. I'll show that later. Um, conditioners that I'm using is the Giovanni to match that one. Um, I'm also using um, the Kinky Curly Not Today, but I'm using that more as a detangler than a conditioner because it seems to work better for me that way. Um, it doesn't really moisturize my hair as a conditioner. Um, I am also using Kimmy Tubes um, conditioner method, which um, seems to be working okay for me right now. I'm just starting to use it, so I'll come back on that later, maybe. Um, what else? Um, oh, as far as moisture, my main moisture uh, product is water. Um, right now, I use it, and I just basically seal the hair with like a castor oil or something like that. Um, I use different oils. I use hobo oil, castor oil. I have. Um, olive oil, um, of course, and um, then some other things. I use some essential oils and things like that, like uh, Ylang Ylang, um, basil, lavender. I have a whole bunch of those because I do skin mixes as well as, uh, as, well as hair mixes for like deep conditioners. I make my own. Um, do I have another one out here? Oh, okay, now the the the. Giovanni set, like I said, it was a set of three. It was the shampoo, the conditioner, and it was also this. And this is um, Vita Pro Fusion Protective Moisture Leave-In Hair Treatment. Um, it says for all types. Uh, it basically says spray into clean, damp hair, leave in, comb through to dis distribute evenly in style. Um, 
as you can see, I haven't really used a lot of this compared to the amount of shampoo that I've used. Um, and I got them obviously at the same time, so I don't. It doesn't really do much for my hair. That doesn't anyway. Um, um, another thing I use for moisture um, is uh, water vegetable glycerin jojoba oil i mix those together shake it around in a little spray bottle and i spray it before i leave and that's just to protect i guess against uh heat damage and things like that well i don't know about heat damage but it brings in the moisture when i go outside especially here in tennessee because it's really, really hot right now what else do i use um oh another thing that i started using as far as i guess styling product um is um, I think it's soft and free milk and protein, um, the strengthening cream, um, and it smells really, really good. It's, it makes my hair a little bit soft. I don't use it a lot. Um, it was something I used when I was, um, the last time I tried to go natural, um, I used it before that and it would work on my, uh, relaxed hair really well. So I'm trying to see if it'll work well on my natural hair. Um, also another thing that I am. Um, um, giving a, a try is the Eco Styler. I'm trying the green one, the olive oil version. Um, I have tried Kinky Curly Curling Custard, and the pro with that is the consistency is better than Eco Styler, and the the smell and also the ingredients are a lot more better. Um, however, the price it's always a big deal with most people, but um, for me, I just don't see the point. It's not really a big deal with price. I wouldn't mind paying for it if it gave me a big, big difference between the two. But for me, right now, I don't know if that if it's the way I apply it. I'll go back and revisit it and see if it works better another time. But right now, they give me the same results. So I just choose to go with the Eco Styler. Um, I actually don't use it that often to have a big impact on it so um, right now I just usually use water oils and um, and then put in like a puff or something like that um, right now I have um, this headband on it's a, a chocolate brown um, I got it from Claire's here it was I think six dollars it was on sale it's a leather um, material leatherish type of material um, I don't want to ramble because I sometimes rush, so please forgive me if this is a little bit fast talk or whatever. Um, I'm very much open to tips, um, you know, all comments, advice, things like that. I don't know my hair type. Um, it's just never really been a big concern for me. However, I'm going to try to get to find out what it is and things like that. Sorry, my glass don't look crooked there. Um. But other than that, I mean, I don't really have anything else. Um, I'm very much open to, like I said, ideas, comments, products that might work. I might go out and get them, try out research and see if it would be something I'm interested in. But like I said, I have tried a whole lot of things. Um, another thing I've been looking into trying, excuse me, um, in light of the curling custard or the... Um, Eco Styler is uh, flaxseed gel, homemade flaxseed gel. Um, I don't know if it actually defines. From what I'm seeing, it's usually just something to give a light hold. So I'm going to do some more research on that and see if it works for me. Um, I have tried, I actually made a batch and it makes my hair soft, but I haven't really used it a lot, a lot or enough times to really get a good feel of it. Um, let's see what else. I am, uh, again, I'm in Tennessee, so if anybody's located here, you know, give me a shout and see if, you know, they can talk or things like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I'd make it through this time and hopefully doing these videos will give me some months. I hope someone watches um, um, and, gives, and then gives feedback. Other than that, um, it would have been a pleasure talking to you all through video. <laughs> And I hope that you all comment below with anything you have in mind. Um, and that's about it. I will link um, the channel that I mentioned earlier um, below. And um, I might or might not, during the final edit, um, include pictures of what my hair was like before. 
um before I did the big chop anyway versus right now it's I don't think I am because it's not a lot of pictures um I don't have any pictures uh, I we were in a flood um so I don't have a lot of the pictures saved I only have like a few that I took recently here so it's not really a background so I don't think I'm going to do those but I might just in case so y'all have a great day peace